Hi everyone, welcome to the C++ class. In today's session, you will learn how to download and install Visual Studio Code to run C++ program on Windows platform. So simply type download Visual Studio Code and press enter. It will redirect you to the official link of Visual Studio Code. Click on this link and here you will get different options to download Visual Studio Code on Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. So let us go for Windows, click on it. Your download is started. You can see here in the progress bar. So it will take 10 to 20 seconds to download and finish this download. So let us wait for it. Okay, so your setup is completed. Let us move to the location where it is stored. Okay, so this is your Visual Studio Code setup. So you can install it or you can run it as administrator. Okay, so your setup is started. You will click on I accept the agreement and click on next. Go to next and install. So your installation is preparing and it will take four to five minutes to install Visual Studio Code on Windows platform. So let us wait for it. Okay, so your setup is completed. Now click on the finish button. Your setup, your Visual Studio Code has been installed on Windows platform. So here you can see, this is the welcome page of Visual Studio Code right so this is how to install visual studio code on windows platform so let us move forward to the next step how to install the minji w compiler for c++ program okay so what is the next step after installation of visual studio code on windows platform so you can see you can go to this url or official page of the Visual Studio Code where we have downloaded the setup, right? If you will go here, we have different options. So if you are not able to find it, you can just simply go to the docs or inside it, you will get the instructions to download the MinGW compiler. So here you will scroll down and here you will get the option that is Java C++. So click on C++ inside it, you will select the third option that is gcc on windows so right now we are trying to install the gcc compiler on windows platform in order to run c++ program so using gcc with mingw compiler so how to install it you can see what is the prerequisites we have already installed visual studio code what is the next step next step is installing the mingw for 16-bit operating system tool chain. So how will you install it? So from this link, you can get the latest version, get the latest version of MinGW via this link, msys2, right? Or you can go down or you can click on this direct link to the installer. So I'm clicking on this link, direct link to the installer, click on it. So it will start your setup, your setup, is starting downloading and it will take again 10 to 20 seconds to download this setup so let us wait for it okay so your setup is downloaded let us move to the location so here this is your mysys2 installation setup now let us install it right click on the setup and run as administrator okay so your setup is started click on the next here you can see in your machine inside c directive this folder will be created automatically my sys 64 click on the next go to the next and your setup installation has been started. It will take again one to two minutes. So wait for two minutes. 
okay your setup is completed click on the finish button so here you can see the my sys2 cell is started okay so if this cell will not be started you can see how to come with this shell so you can go to the search and you will type simply my sys2 right m sys2 right so here you can see this option and you will click on it you will get the option of m sys2 shell right what is the next step let us move forward so here you can see on the same page you will get all the steps how to install the mingw compiler so what is the next step in this terminal just install mingy w w64 tool chain by running the following command so simply just copy this command and go to the shell right paste here and press enter your setup will start it will install press on enter just write yes and enter So your libraries of C++ start installing. It will take again four to five minutes. So wait for four to five minutes. Okay, your MinGW toolchain is successfully installed on your machine. So what is the next step? Let us go to the documentation. So here you will see what is your next step next step is you will or you have to set the path for the environment variable so what will you do you will simply search environment variable you will go to the edit system environment variable and you will just set the path for mingw right so what path you will set here you have to follow these steps so where is the path you can see you will use this path inside c drive your mc64 software has been installed you can copy this path or you can go to the edit environment variable just copy it okay so simply you will click on environment variables so here inside user variables you will select this path and click on edit inside it we have already multiple paths so here you can add this path right just control v so this is a path of your msys64 that is mingw all the header files installation files and the compiler file are present inside a bin directive okay so click on okay okay and click on okay so you can go in the c drive or you can see where it is installed inside the c drive we have a folder mc64 inside it we have a bin folder here right you can see this contains all the information understand so here you will go to this ucrt64 inside it we have a bin folder so this path we have given right this path you can copy from this place also so let us move on the next step what is the next step let us go to the documentation so after setting the path you just check the mingw installed properly in, or not so you can just use these commands gcc version right so you will simply open the command prompt cmd and simply you will just type or check the G, which gcc version is installed gcc hyphen hyphen version right so you can see it is showing which compiler version installed it is showing the current version is 13.2.0 in the similar way you can run these commands g plus plus hyphen hyphen version and and so on right so you can see g g plus plus not this one Okay, so you can see your G++ compiler 
has been successfully installed in your machine. Okay, so what is the next step? Let us move to the documentation. So simply we have to write a hello world program on the Visual Studio app. So you will open the Visual Studio code for here. This is your welcome page. From this welcome page, you can set up the different themes, dark theme, dark high contrast light themes. Accordingly, you can select. So I'm selecting the dark modern here. Or you can, or by default it is selected. You can just click on, you can just cancel this welcome screen. So how to write the first program? So what is the next step? You can see this is a file menu. Or on this left hand side, you have different icons here. This is the explorer. Here you can search your files. This is something source control. Here you can run and debug. And this is the last extension. So to run C++ program, you have to install the C++ extension. So inside this search box, search box, you will search the C++, right? So here you can see this is a third option that is C, C++ extension. Click on it and you will install it. It will take 5 to 10 seconds to install C and C++ extension pack. After installing, you can write your C and C++ program and you can run it. So current status is it is installing. So let us wait for 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, your extension has been installed. So let us cancel it. You will go to the explorer or you can go in the file and you can write the first program. New text file, right? Simply. So here from this place, this is the editor. You can write your first program. You can click on this link, select a language. If you are creating a program in C programming, so you can select C programming, C sharp, C sharp you can select or Right now we are writing the program for the C++. So you can select the C++ or you can start writing your programs, okay? Or if you will not select any language, you no need to just worry about it. Okay, so let us write the first program of C++. Simply you will write your, your has include I will stream. This is a header file that contains all the inputs and output operations. Then you will write the using using namespace std. Right. After this, you will simply write in main, or simply you will display a message t out. And inside it, you will write a hello to C++, right? Then you will return zero from the main function. You will just save your program, right? You can, it is asking where you would like to save. So I am just saving this program on the desktop. So here you can write the file name that is a test. And by default, it is taking the C++. Go to the save. It is saved or now you can run it program. So here you can see that it is showing some error. What is the error? The hash include error detected. Please update your include path. So guys, if you will find this problem, so what can you do it? How will you fix this problem? Simply, you have to restart your Visual Studio code or if the problem will not be resolved, you can restart your machine in order to set all the path of your MinGW and your Visual Studio code. So I am just going to the file or you can just exit it, right? You can exit it or you can restart it again. Let us see this problem is resolved or not. So you will restart it again and you will check this problem will be resolved or not, right? So just close this welcome screen and so here you can see right now it is not showing this error, right? So you need to restart your Visual Studio after setting all the paths and after installing the C++ extension. So what will you do? How will you run it? You will simply 
go here and run C++ file, run it. You can select the compiler and here you can see what is the output. Again, it is showing the error. So why it is showing the error? Let us see what is the region. It is showing some error. So definitely you will guys, you will also get this error. So how will you resolve it? Let me help you to understand. Okay, so how to get rid of that problem? You will just go to the extension part and one more extension you will install that is a code runner, right? So you will find this code runner and you will install it. You can see the code runner extension has been installed in order to run your C++ or C programs. Just close this window and let us run your program again. So right click on it and you can find the option right now, run code, click on it. And here we go, you can see what is the output of it. You can do different changes here, right? Like, hello world, you will save your programs and you can run it again and you can see the updated output here, right? So guys, I hope you understand how to download Visual Studio code, how to install MinGW in order to execute your C++ program and how to install the different extensions to write and run C++ program. So guys, this is the way how can you run your first C++ program. So I hope guys you understand it. So thank you for watching this video. Bye bye for now. We'll see you in the next session with a new interesting video session. Bye bye. Good night.